as far as I can go from Washington State was Florida. I originally intended to go to to Gainesville. I went to college then. He wanted to be near a college campus because that's the kind of victim he was looking for is a college girl. And so he then ended up in Florida. I think he, he couldn't stop from getting involved again with looking for victims. And Ted was so extremely hungry to kill them. When Ted escaped the second time and ended up down in Florida, and then he had been drinking, and his eye caught this girl going in the back of the Omega. Where I had everything all set up, and I could have done, I could have done that if there had been one more missing person before. See, I had been uh, slinking or doing my lurking, night stalking thing, and then I saw something else, something quick. And uh, that triggered him, and he went in. You know, absolutely berserk, absolutely berserk, but totally disorganized, totally unplanned. I got a call in the early morning hours of January the 15th that a crime had occurred at an address I knew to be the Chi Omega sorority house. As I arrived, first young lady being wheeled out was Karen Chandler. The second was Kathy Kleiner. There were two, Margaret Bowman and Lisa Levy, that were left inside that were not surviving. They had been beaten brutally about the head. The skull cracked, teeth beaten out, jaws dislocated and broken. I think when he went in, he was just gonna go in to do all the damage he could possibly do. And it didn't matter who, he was going to kill as many people as he could possibly kill. He fled out the backside of the Chi Omega house and probably traveled down Pensacola Street. Came down at least three going on four blocks and it was clear that the first killings didn't satiate his beast and so he was out looking for more. Ted said that Cheryl Thomas was the one he'd been watching. She, as I understand, had been dancing in her apartment or home and he was going to attack her. When Doc reviewed the recordings of Ted Bundy, he noticed that sometimes when he was talking about the murders, he would speak about himself in the third person. He was very, very effective. So he just decided that he would have to do something about it. Not six blocks away from the Chi Omega house, there was a duplex housing Cheryl Thomas on one side and friends on another side. They heard what they believed to be some grunts and groans and thumping sounds. They immediately called the sheriff's office. I dispatched a deputy to go and check on this particular activity. When she got there, that deputy went into that duplex and found Cheryl Thomas bleeding and someone had gone out the back window. You could picture a crazy animal who had just attacked in one place, ran until he thought he was away from that scene and then it attacked again. I did not know at that time whether there was going to be another, another, and another. It's like a person who then hasn't had a drink for a while and he wants one so bad, he just goes on a binge. He doesn't stop. With Ted Bundy, the compulsion is a combination of planning, the hunt, the capture, the power, and control over the victim. The terror she shows and the possession of the person, often both before and after death. I got a call that came in from Colorado. They wanted me to know that a man named Ted Bundy had escaped and that he was known to have murdered and brutally assaulted young women. And they just wanted to let me know that because they'd heard about what happened at the Caramega house. Well, it didn't really compute. That was in Colorado. That was two weeks ago. What's the chances 
of Ted Bundy being in Tallahassee. 